Hello. It's nice to see so many of you. 你们好，你们好，好，你好，好，你好，你好啊。我们今天做八段锦。What we are going to do is 八段锦 The second half, 第二部分。呃，八段锦 has got a history of over 呃 eight hundred years, and it's a type of、uh, for those that are only joining us today. Uh, it's a type of health qi gong. So qi gong is a word. It's it's sort of like the kung fu of the qi, the breathing. But actually. If there is another word of it, it's called a dao yin. So dao is to guide the breathing in, is to stretch out the body. So what we want is to combine our physical movements, tiao shen, tiao xi, with our breathing and tiao xin with our mind. So we want to synchronize the mind, the body, and the breathing together. So the the xing the the physical movements is mainly about stretching out. When you are stretching out, any part of you that is further away, try to push that part even further. So if you are pushing upwards, so that's the the top of your head. Try to push it up, or imagine you are stretching your spine longer. Or when you are sort of leaning forward, obviously. The crown is furthest away from from the body, so you want to push the crown away as well. And it's the same when we are stretching out the fingers. Imagine your fingers are really, really being stretched. So you want to reach the walls, etc. So in your mind, you are pressing it, you're pushing it longer. So this type of movement would help, particularly when we are doing of the some of the spinal movements. We want to increase the flexibility of the spine, but if you just crush it like this, you may hurt yourself. So it's to stretch it longer with your own weight, your own mind, and then try to bend or twist. Okay, so so that that's the the principle. It should be very safe, and you listen to your own body. If you think that、uh, you are coming down too much, don't hurt yourself. That that's the only principle. Okay, and so Ba Duan Jin is the most widely practiced health qi gong set in the world, and particularly in the COVID nineteen. Well, you're in China. We had a long lockdown, and and、uh, even for patients recovering from、uh, COVID nineteen, and the exercise they're being encouraged to do is Ba Duan Jin. Many health qi gongs, but particularly Ba Duan Jin. Because it's relatively easy and it's very effective if you do it well. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are do we are going to do a bit of a warm up first. So we'll have a tiny, tiny little bit of a meditation and then warm up. Now, because、uh, I know Tabia has uh, recorded uh, the last session and it's on YouTube, so we are going to do something a little bit different. So you don't do、uh, identical things in case it gets a bit boring. Okay, so find yourself a spot, and you just want sort of a little bit of a space before and after you, so you can swing your arms without knocking things over. Uh, this is just that、uh, you don't hurt yourself, or there is no furniture. You can trip over. Oh,、uh, hello, Mister. Okay. Now, from here, arrive in your spot, feet together, stand naturally upright. Okay, we want to imagine that our crown is being pushed up. Bai Hui, push up. Tuck your chin in slightly. Okay, so when you are ready, sink your weight into your right leg. So I'm your mirror. Okay, so sink your weight into your right leg and slowly soften the knees and peel your left foot up. Okay, so heel up, ball of foot, and then toes, and take a left step, shoulder width, put it down, toes down, ball of foot, and then the heels, and now shift the weight in between the two legs. 
Okay, so we are going to do a little bit of uh, breathing, so that we want to get the mind and the body totally relaxed in the qigong state. So breathe in and slowly raise both palms up. Okay, your middle finger leading the way, and only come to about uh, tummy height. Turn the palms down and coming back. Now this time, I would like you to raise your heels a little bit as you bring up your hands. So breathe in, raise your heels as you bring your palms up. Turn the palms down. As you breathe out, lower the heels and bring both hands back by your side. So, and by the, by the time your hands come to the side, rotate at your wrist. Okay, so fingers pointing to the side and then downwards. Now, the third time, I would like you to have the attention. So, breathe in, raise your heels, raise your hands up. Your attention at the center of your palms. Lao Gong Xue. Okay, turn the palms down, lower the heels. As you lower the heels, bring the hands back. Attention on Dan Tian, just about one or two fingers underneath your navel, the tummy button. Okay, again, now we do all these things together, mind focusing on the center of your palms as you come up on your toes, raise your hands, turn the palms facing down, lower your heels, bring full attention to your lower tian. Okay, now gradually, progressively, we raise the hands a little bit higher as you breathe in, turn palms down, um, we've just had a comment that the music is slightly too loud. Okay. People are struggling to hear you. Sorry for the interruption. No, that's okay. So is it is it better now? Or do you want me to switch it off totally? I can switch it off. Um, if you've got any preference, perhaps you can share that with us in the chat. Just give it a, a minute or so. So I think the music is nice, some people saying, and they like it, but perhaps just a little bit. Um, okay, I've it. toned it down now. Okay, so hopefully it's low enough. Okay. okay, thank you. That's okay, yeah. So anyway, what we are trying to do is each time we come up, full attention, the center of your palms, and progressively bring the hands higher up. Breathe out as you come down. One last time. Breathe in and raise both hands up, up to chest height. Turn palms down. Breathe out, coming down. Okay, from here, breathe in and open up to the corner of the room and gather the energy to chest height and press down. One more time, breathe in and raise both hands up to the side, gather the energy in, breathe out and fit it into a lower dantian. Okay, now from here, open up a uh, stretch upwards from the side of you, take a deep breath in and raise both palms up, gathering the energy above your head into this big ball, breathe out and press down. Imagine you are feeling the energy into your head, your neck, your chest, your abdomen, your thighs and lower legs, and all the way down to the middle of your soles. Last time, breathe in and lift so your middle finger stretching far, far away and 
feeling the weight of the energy on your palms and fingers, breathe out and press down. As you press down, you feed the energy into your head, your neck, your chest, your abdomen, your thighs, lower legs, and all the way down to Yongquan, the spring bubbly point. Okay, in here, shift the weight back to your right leg. You bring your left foot in. Okay, good. Right. Okay, so hopefully the little meditation concentrates the mind and relaxes the body. Let's do a bit of uh, warm up. Okay, now after I guess a whole morning you've been sitting in front of uh, your desk or your computer, you're having a bit of sore neck. So let's, let's do some warm up. So breathe in, raise both hands up. Okay, and put both hands at the back of your head. Okay, soften the knees, bring elbows in and look down. So press down. So on your, you feel the stretch of the back of your neck. Slowly release and hands traveled on your chins. Breathe in and push your chin upwards. Feel the stretch at the front of your neck. And slowly coming out. Again, breathe in, hands at the back of your head. Breathe out, bring elbows in, soften the knees. Head on the back of your head, try hand on the back of your head. Feel the stretch of the back of your neck and release. Breathe in, push your chin upwards. Feel the stretch at the front and slowly coming back. Right, from here, let's uh, rotate our, our uh, and the neck, but at the same time, you are stretching. So breathe in, you push your palms forward, but taking your chest backwards. So it's the opposing force. Okay, at the same time, rotate at your neck, look sideways, feel the stretch and relax and bring everything back to center. Bring your hands back. One more time, push out and rotate. Hands pushing to the front, chest going back, neck turning and relax. Okay. So we are doing the rotation of the neck. One more time, breathe in and turn. Okay, try not to push your chin up or down. Try to rotate just at the level. Okay, turn. And coming back. Okay, that's good. And come back. Right. And then we'll do a, a crane. Imagine you are a crane, so feet together. Breathe in, stretch both hands out. Imagine your middle finger being pulled towards the side. Did somebody say something? Uh, recording, okay. That will be fine. So, middle finger, try to reach the wall. From here, turn your left palm upwards to face the ceiling. Eyes looking at your middle left finger. Soften the knees, bend downwards and start flying like a wild goose. Okay, so what we want is you are squatting down, but the hands, both arms 45 degrees, stretched out. Now in here, imagine there's a drop of water rolling off from the tip of your middle finger and rolls off your palms coming down your forearm upper arm and then it rolls off your chest turn your neck slowly follow that drop of water it rolls off your chest and then on to the other arm upper arm lower arm and then the middle finger 
then it drops off. Relax, push your knees straight, coming up. Eyes looking forward. Let's fly again from the, from the other side. So breathe in, rotate your right palm to the ceiling. Start flying. So eyes looking at your middle finger, soften the knees, squat down. Both hands diagonally by your side. Eyes looking at the middle finger. Really stretch out from your fingertips. Now follow that drop of water from your middle finger, rose off your hands, forearm, upper arm, and then rose off your chest, and it comes down the other arm. And it goes all the way, it drops off the middle finger, and then coming back. And lower the hands. Now, roll your shoulders backwards a few times and then forward a few times. Now, this sort of uh, bird-like movement looks very simple, but in your mind, as long as you really stretch out, it's very good to ease off any pain in the shoulders and necks. Okay, now, that's shoulder done. Let's uh, prepare our waist. Feet shoulder width apart, so I'll do it sideways so it's easier for you to see. Shoulder width apart, okay, so breathe in, lace the fingers, turn the head, eyes looking at the back of your head, or uh, your hands, and push upwards. Okay, and then the eyes are looking forward. From here, take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, you do a forward bend, but we are not coming down like that, but rather we push our hands forward as far away as we can and slowly, slowly coming down. So you're keeping your back straight as you come down and let the hands come down. Listen to your body. Don't, don't hurt it. So it's okay to keep your uh, palms on the floor or just let it hover, depending on your flexibility. The key is not so much whether your hands can touch the floor, but rather we want to stretch out the pang guang ji. So it's the bladder meridians we want to stretch out. Okay, from here, soften the knees and turn the palms up, coming up. Let's do it again. So breathe in, stretch out. When you are stretching out, again, both palms try to reach the ceiling and your feet are taking root. So what we are doing is we are stretching both sides of you and creating the space in the torso area. So your chest and abdomen cavity. Okay, take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Slowly bend forward, push your hands away. It's a long stretch down. Slowly, slowly coming down. Okay. The second time you may find you can reach the floor or you can come down lower. And slowly coming back up. Okay. Good. Okay, so let's further stretch out our legs. So put your weight totally on your right leg and then your left leg 45 degrees, toes up, heel down. Okay, so breathe in, breathe out and come down. You can put your hands on your knees. Okay, if you feel dizzy, then keep your head up. If it's okay, try to bring the chest to the thighs. And then hands, if you can, reach your toes, grab hold of your toes. Okay, feel the stretch at the back of your leg that's being stretched. And slowly, slowly coming back out. From here, change your leg and take a step. Breathe in. Breathe out, coming down. 
Okay, really stretch out. Try to bring chest to thigh. And if you can, reach your hands to the floor, grab hold of your foot, toes or ankles, whichever part you can. And slowly coming out. Okay, so we've done the forward bend. Let's do the side bend. So breathe in, stretch out, breathe out, stretch to both sides and turn your head to look behind you. So you increase the stretch a bit more. Really feel the stretch by the side of you and slowly coming out. Come down. And come up again, breathe in and out. So remember to turn your head and look behind you. Both palms pushing away. And coming down. Okay, that's very good. So now we have uh, done forward bend, side bend. Let's do a little bit of a gentle back bend. So turn to face the left wall, take a left step, heel down first. Okay, breathe in as you shift away to the front leg. Breathe in and really, really stretch your fingers up, just one side. Relax, sink back, relax your hip, knees, ankles. Now sit back totally on your back leg and arch back, however much, a back bend you want to do and coming back and turn to the front both hands draw a big circle further relaxing your shoulder Another one stretch upwards try to get your fingertips far far away sink back sink back and then arch back and coming back. And then breathe in and gather the energy. Breathe out and just let it wash over you. Pour the energy down as you relax. Last time. Breathe in, open, and gather the energy above you. Breathe out, pressing down. Very good. And bring your left foot in. So, hopefully, you feel stretched out the major joints, etc. Uh, what we are going to do is some of you have already done the first half of uh, the Ba Duan Jing. So we'll do all the four movements together first, and we can do it gently, partially, as warm up partially. For those who didn't join us last time, have a chance to familiarize with the movements, and then we'll move on to the second half, okay? So first of all, feet together, we'll do it slowly, just follow the verbal instructions and copy me. Feet together when you're ready, soften the knees and take a left step, shoulder width, put it down. Ah, I, <laughs> I can see some of you, you just, when you're taking a step, you just take the step like that. We try to lift the heel up and then put it down slowly. So it, it, you, you want to do it in a more deliberate, slow uh, way of doing it. So very conscious way of shifting the, the weight in between the two legs. Okay, let's do it again. So feet together. Sink the weight into your right leg so you can slowly, slowly lift your left foot Heel up, follow foot, toe, and then take a step, toes, follow foot, and then the heel. 
Okay, so it's very, very slow. Now from here, slowly breathe in and round your shoulders. So turn your shoulders to the front, round the upper back. So your palms naturally turn back. Breathe in and raise both hands sideways about 45 degrees. And then turn the palms forward. Breathe out and slowly gather the energy. So bring both hands in front, soften the knees. And you are, imagine you are sitting on a high chair and it's important to remember your crown is pushing up. Tilt your hips slightly forward so that your tailbone is, is pointing downwards. So you have a flat uh, lumbar spine, okay? We don't want any curves. Hands holding a ball in front of your tummy, about 10 centimeters between the fingers. Leave some space underneath your armpit. Okay. From here, lower the hands, lace the fingers, breathe in and come up. Eyes looking at the back of your hands and push upwards. Eyes following your hands to look up. And then when you are stretching, eyes looking forward. Okay, this is called Shuang Shou Tuo Tian Ni San Jiao. Both hands pushing up the heaven to regulate the three burners. Okay, slowly soften the knees, separate the hands and come down as you are breathing out. Again, breathe in, lift. Turn palms up, eyes falling the back of your hands, pushing upwards. And then eyes looking up. Separate the hands and coming down. Slowly, slowly coming down. And you should be feeling the chi rushing to your fingertips. Okay, last time, breathe in, come up. Turn and stretch it upwards. Okay. Eyes looking forward and slowly come out. This is called holding up the sky with both hands to regulate the three burners. Okay, from here we do posing as an archer. Shift away to your right leg. Cross the hands in front of you. Take a left step. Now, taking a step again is not those type of steps. We slowly lift the leg and then toes down, heel down. Hands, one hand as the uh, arrow, one hand you're pulling the bow. When you fire out the arrow, eyes looking at the arrow hand, you are at the moment doing a sitting stand. Push your knees outwards. Okay, elbows, same height as your shoulder. This hand slightly bend it. Okay, don't lock it. And relax at the wrist. Shift away to turn to the other side. And bring your foot in. Slowly coming up. Let's do the other side. Shift the weight. Take a step. Standing up and fire out your arrow. Eyes looking at your index finger. And slowly coming back. So what we are doing is we are posing as an archer, but we are opening up our chest. Fire it out. We are bringing our shoulder blades together. And coming back. One more time. And fire out the arrow. Open the chest. Eyes looking at the arrow. And relax and coming back. When you come back, your right foot only comes in shoulder width. The third movement, 调理脾胃虚丹局, so 
hands are holding as if you're holding a ball in front of your tummy height stand up and push your left hand upwards right hand downwards and relax and slowly the top hand comes down the original way okay. again breathe in rise up and stretch really feel that you are stretching diagonally and coming down okay so come up as if you are holding a baby and then shading from the sunlight and then stretching remember top hand middle finger pointing towards you the arms are not locked, straight but not locked. And slowly breathe out as you come down. Last time, coming up, holding the baby, shading from the sunlight and then pushing. And relax. So we are stretching the body, the torso diagonally, what we are doing, we are doing some gentle massage of the internal organ. Okay, next one. So hands come down by the side, fingers pointing downwards. From here, uh, so looking backwards to get rid of any anxieties, etc. So from here, I better come closer. Okay, in case you can't see me. So the starting point, both arms 45 degrees, palms are facing back. From here, then rotate your hands. So push your thumb backwards and try to more or less get your baby thumb. So the bottom side of your palms to face the ceiling. What you are doing is you are wringing the arms. So it's actually quite a strong stretch. You, you don't see it but it's actually very strong, okay? And then your eyes, you look back 45 degrees to the back. The hands is by your side, so it's not too much out. It just level with your body, okay? So looking back, standing up, and coming back. Hands pressing down, it's what we call fu and drum as if you are Pushing your hands on a low table. Rise up. Hands go back and turn. Blowing, ring your arms. Turn your head to look back. And come back. Okay. What you are also doing, you are massaging the da zhui xue at the back of your lung, uh, cervical spine. That's the seventh vertebrate there because you are rotating your neck. So you're massaging that acute point and coming back. Okay, so this is the first four moves. Uh, the next one, the uh, four more moves, the next one is perhaps the most difficult one. It's called the uh, Yao Tong Bai Wei Qu Xin Huo. So to swing the head and swing the tails. And what's the purpose? Is to get rid of any excessive fire uh, in your heart. Okay. So uh, before we do that, let's just do some preparation. So feet shoulder width or slightly wider than the shoulder apart hands just by your waist okay so start rotating so ring rotate your hip okay one direction so you start pushing your hip to the left and then forward as you push your hip forward your upper body is going back and then right and then push it back push your your bone back okay and then come back 
Okay, let's do the opposite direction. So push your hip to the right and then to the front and then to the left and then to the back. Okay, so what we want, what we are doing now, we are exercising the bottom part of our spine. Okay, and then come back. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to rotate. So your head will be rotating the opposite direction, okay, as your spine. So what we are doing is we are exercising both ends of your spine. Uh, so first, have your feet one and a half shoulder wide. Two shoulders is perhaps a little bit too big for most of you. So one and a half shoulder would be nice. Make sure your toes are pointing forward and then sit down. So sit on as if you've got a high chair. Okay, so you will first have this come up both hands rise and then turn the palms up facing the ceiling and then as you breathe out both hands as if it's drawing a big rainbow downwards and then put the hands just on your thighs okay now some books you may see some people's hands are near the knees some are higher up this is because it depends on how high your stand is because your arm is the same length if you squat down lower the hands are closer to the knees but that's much more demanding on your thighs so maybe you can come up a little bit higher the key is when you have the hands on your on your thighs the the hands is not grabbing the legs so we want the lao gong is there's nothing touching it so it's meeting air rather than your thigh okay so you are in here. So first of all, rise up and then lean to your right. Okay, leaning the way to your right leg and then lean forward. As you're leaning forward, imagine your bum is on the high chair. So no way, even if when you are rotating, you don't push, you don't leave the chair. Okay, so you lean to one side and then leaning forward Again, we talked about, imagine you're pushing your crown away as you now swing the head from one side to the other. Okay, and when it's on the other side, just let your head, head dangle. And now here, push your hip to the right and then forward. As your hip is pushing forward, your body naturally lean back and then to the side and then back. Now it's only three quarters of a circle and then we straighten ourselves. So we straighten the, the spine and then the head coming back, coming back to the starting point. Again, rise up, lean to your left and then lean forward eyes looking at your left toes and as you sway the head to the other side your eyes are now looking at the heel of the same leg okay now push the hip to the left front right and back and straighten it Again, come up, lean to your right, leaning forward, swing your head all the way to the other side. Your gaze change from your right toes to the right heel. And so basically you are drawing three quarters of a circle with your tailbone and then you straighten up. Last one, lean to your left, lean forward, keeping your tailbone on your high chair okay, and leaning all the way to the other side. 
push your hip bones to the left, front, right, back, and then straighten it. And then from here, shift away to your left leg. Bring your right foot in, shoulder width. Come up, rise up, bring both hands, rise up. Fingers pointing to the ceiling. Breathe out and press down. Fingers pointing to each other and press down. Soften the knees, coming down. Again, you are sitting on your high chair. Hands come down to tummy height. Turn the, part of the fingers to face forward. Breathe in and raise both hands. Okay, again, fingers are pointing up. Turn the palms to face each other. Breathe out, press down. So press down, hands come up to chest height. I'll come up a little bit closer. Okay, so turn the palms facing up. Breathe in, open. So you are really exercising your shoulder blades. Okay, opening out. Fingers travel down underneath your armpit. And then you can give yourself a little poke. So that's the da uh, bao xue. You hurt a bit. Okay, a bit tender. And then fingers continue to travel all the way to the back. And then fingers on both sides of your spine. Okay, continue to come downwards. Hands coming down past Huan Tiao. So the side, there's an acute point where your, your legs and your bone here, it joins. Okay, continue. So coming down, you do a forward bend, but your hands are massaging the back of your legs. Continue to come down. Okay, so hands coming by the side of your feet and then on top of your shoes. From here, run your hands on the floor if you can reach it. Okay, and slowly, slowly push your hand forward, far, far away. Try to reach far away as you lift both arms up. When the upper arm past your ears, continue this movement and lift your head up. And relax, turn palms facing each other and press down. Okay, let's do it again. Breathe in, open. Fingers travel underneath your armpit, goes all the way to the back of your, both sides of your spine. Fingers massaging the spines, traveling downwards, all the way down, then bend forward, hands continue to massage the back of your legs all the way down to your ankles and then top of your shoes. Run your hands on the floor, try to reach fingertips far away, slowly, slowly bringing up your head. Okay, now one commonly made the mistake is when you're here, when you want to come up and you come up like that and you don't really feel the stretch. The power actually comes from Ming Men. So in Chinese, we call it the gate of life. So it's the bit between the second and the third lumbar uh, vertebrates. Okay, that's where the power comes. Let's do it again. It's actually quite a strong bend. We do it slowly, we feel the, the chi flow better. Okay, so we, we are already starting in here. So take a step. Breathe in, come up, hands traveling up, pushing out. Breathe out slowly, hands drawing a rainbow coming down. Oh, no, I think, sorry, I was doing the, the uh, swinging the head and the tail. So we, we finished that. So from here, 
So breathe in, raise both hands. Sorry, I get confused with the two. Okay, fingertips really pushing forward and breathe out, press down. Fingertips pointing to each other up to chest height. Turn the palms up, open and hands traveling to the back all the way to the spine. Massage the spines as you come down, bend forward. And then hands, walk on the floor, going upwards. Raise the hands until your upper arm past your ears, then lift your torso up. And when we finish, just slowly let both hands come down in front of you. Okay, so now in here, when the hands come down, uh, shift the weight back to your left leg. So you take a step, one and a half shoulder width to two shoulder width down and make two fists. This is what we call the qi gong fist. Normally we make a fist like that, but the qi gong fist is have your thumb, press it on the root of your uh, ring finger and then bring all the fingers in. So all newborn babies hold their fists like that. It's very, very strong. You can, if anybody got a newborn baby, borrow the baby and try, put your finger there. The baby will be able to grab your finger. You can lift the whole baby up. Okay, it's, it's that strong. As we grow, we, we lose that. So we, what we want is we want to increase that. Anyway, thumb at the root of the ring finger, make two qi gong fist, or we call it the healing fist. And then we put the fist by zhang men xue. Zhang men xue, this acupoint is sort of right at the bottom of your ribs. Hold it there. And then you sit, okay, you hold this uh, uh, sitting stand, the okay, whole sitting stand. Okay, when you're ready, so punch as you're punching out. So the fist, when you're punching, uh, it's, it's not so much the, the, we're not that bothered about your, your fist really. What we want the power is to come from the shoulder and all the way up and everything is all tensed. When it comes to here, uh, when you're punching, this side, the inside of your upper arm is massaging your, the side of your body coming out. And then when the arm passes the body, that is where your eyes start looking at your face and really looking at it, stare at it. Open up your, your eyes wide and relax the hands, turn the hands down totally. So your, your palm is facing away, then rotate at the wrist. until the fingers are pointing down. It's actually very strong. You've, it looks very simple, but you, you feel the stretch on the forearm, don't you? Yeah, okay. So thumb on the root of uh, ring finger, bring the fist back, and then the eye of the fist facing the front and bringing it back. Okay, so now let's uh, synchronize with our breathing. So, Take a deep breath in, breathe out, punch out. Feel the resistance in front of you. Okay, relax. Rotate your hands, palms facing away, and rotate at the wrist. And bring the fingers in and bring it back. As you bring it, bring the fist back, you breathe in. Relax the hand and then tense up the other hand, punch out. Open your eyes wide as the hands is opening, rotating, and collect the fingers in. And then you can soften your gaze when you bring the face back. Now, what's the point of opening the eyes wide? In Chinese, we say, 
Gan qi yu mu. So the liver starting point is your eyes. So you're opening the eyes. So open. Not open, open wide the eyes. And bring it back. Last time. So when the hands pass, the arms pass your ribs, eyes look down and look at your face. Okay, eyes open wide, open the hand, rotate, and the wrist, collect the fingers in and bring it back. Okay, from here, shift the weight back to your right leg and bring your left foot in. As you are standing up, gently let your hands release, face change into palms. So hands just naturally fall by your side. Okay. Now the last one is called Bei Ho Qi Dian Bai Bing Xiao. So you, you stand up on your tiptoes and then you come down. So when we're talking about the tiptoes, in here, if you need to hold on to something for balance, by all means, please do. Okay, we don't want anybody to fall down. So when you're ready, breathe in and push your crown up as you bring your heel up, toes pointing down. The only part of the body in your mind is the crown pushing up. Everything else comes down. Tighten up, so pull your tummy in, tighten up the tummy muscle and tighten up your buttocks and thighs, everything. Okay, come halfway down and then totally down. When you totally come down, you relax everything again. So breathe in, come up, push crown up. Hold your navel in, pull your buttocks in and come halfway down, totally down. When you come down, we also want you to do one thing which you can't see is to clench the back teeth. Remember, don't bite your tongues, but clench the teeth with the mouth closed. Okay, so the last time, breathe in, come up. Halfway. Okay, so the vibration, we want the vibration you create to massage the internal organs. And then you are also exercising your gums. Last time, breathe in, push your crown up, relax, shoulder down, hands reaching down, tummy tucked in, uh, buttocks pulled in, halfway, totally down. Okay, and then from here, rotate your hands facing backwards. And sideways, 45 degrees, slowly turn the palms forward and bring the palms in, gather the energy and put your hands together. So the Lao Gu Xie is pressed on Ban Tian. And then one of the things you could do is to hands pressed on Ban Tian, then slowly pressed so massage your dantian three times, one direction and three times the other direction. And then slowly release the hands. Okay, so uh, while we cool down, we could uh, do them, uh, uh, answer any questions. Okay, so rub your hands together, generate some heat and wash your face, yu yu mian, okay? Massage and then use your fingertips, which is full of energy, full of qi and just run over your head. Pinch the tip of your ears, pinch it up three times, upwards and then three times just run, rubbed the side of your ears three times down and then bring your earlobes three down three times. If you've got questions, unmute yourself. They can ask the questions or uh, Tabia can read out the questions. So the hand form a cup, so a loose cup 
and then give yourself a tap from the shoulders all the way down to the inside of your elbow all the way down and then turn arms back what okay then uh, I think Tapia would uh, could give you my e email and if you've got any questions if you want to find out more about me uh, here's my address uh, taiji for your gmail.com yeah so if you want you could just uh, ask me about other courses I do or any questions you have related to this uh, today's talk Okay. And then, if you have no question, continue to tap, tap all the way down, particularly the belt meridians, all the way down, all the way up again. And then give yourself a swing. And then finally, one last good uh, relaxation is to bounce on your toes and give yourself a shake. Just shake your arms, shake the fingers, and get rid of any tension because you'll, you'll be working very hard for a full hour. Okay. Any yes, thank you. Um, there's not much to add. You've uh, said everything, Faisha. You've mentioned that it's recorded and you mentioned that we will share your email address and that's what I wanted to say as well. Yeah. Thank you very much for everybody who could join us today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Faisha, <laughs> for um, providing this interesting lesson again. I think we're all ready at the moment to learn new things and yeah, yeah. move around and yeah it, yeah and you could also tell them about the wednesdays my my free classes every wednesday afternoon half past five we do a different set of routine Dao Ying, Dao Ying 12